Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am the Traveling Man and I'm here on board the Celebrity Apex for a 12-night voyage all around the Eastern Mediterranean. We're going to Greece, we're going to Turkey, we're going to Cyprus, we're going to Israel. It's going to be a fun cruise. I thought I would do a little something different this cruise since it is such a long cruise and actually try a little bit of daily vlogging where I show you just what I'm doing uh, throughout each day. Not a long thing each day because it's 12 days but just a short you know hey this is cool look at I did this or I'm doing this or I'm gonna go to dinner here maybe a little bit more behind the scenes of some of the more polished videos that you see my reviews my food the normal type videos that I usually put out each cruise so let me know what you think of this format as you watch the video if you enjoy it of course I always do an embarkation day vlog so the day one of the cruise the embarkation day will be in a separate vlog that's already out on the channel now so go make sure you check that out and come on let's get this Adventure on the Celebrity Apex started. So earlier today, I actually went to Le Grand Bistro. Le Grand Bistro is something I tried on Celebrity Beyond for the first time. It was so good uh, that today, the first day, I had to try it. So I went there. Uh, I'll talk more about that in my food review video. But because I ate such a large lunch, uh, tonight is elegant evening or elegant chic or whatever they call it here on Celebrity. But I don't think I'm into that just because... You know, I ate so much food, and I don't really, I'm not really hungry. It's almost 8 o'clock. I have a reservation for Normandy tonight. That's the French-inspired main dining venue here on board. But I think I'm going to skip out on that and just go to the buffet and make a salad or something. But let's go up to the buffet. That's why I'm going to the buffet tonight. We'll see what's on the buffet for elegant evening. Also, it's such a tremendous evening outside. Uh, it's been a tremendous day, actually. Uh, I've walked around the ship. Just so enjoyed being back on the Celebrity Apex. This is a beautiful ship. She's my favorite ship, hands down. I've met a lot of you around on other ships before. I've talked to you uh, about cruising, and I've said you definitely need to try Celebrity Cruises. Uh, one of the Edge Class ships, for sure. It's cruising like you've never experienced. So this is my uh, gushing over the ship <laughs> moment. So excuse me for that. Uh, I really love it, and I'm really happy. I all day long have just relaxed and taken it easy. I've not actually done a lot. And that, that was saying a lot to just say, I'm going to go have dinner in the buffet. Also, it is day two of the cruise and I'm not going to show you all my clothes because it's a mess over there, but I've still not unpacked. So tonight when I get back from dinner and the show or whatever else I get into, I have to unpack. Also, uh, I'll show you this, I guess, since we're vlogging now. I did get this bag. This is a little Herschel shoulder bag and I'm always looking. Normally I carry a drawstring bag, but it's about to fall apart. So I got this for like excursions and stuff. So I'll let you know how this went and how this worked out. But if you ever need a recommendation on a bag, maybe this will be the one. I should have shot this in a water angle because you can't really see it all. Turn it like this. Uh, but it's a shoulder bag. I think it'll hold things like my passport, water, sunscreen, hand sanitizer, any other documents I need. So yeah. So I'm trying to be healthier and better this cruise since it is so long. So I am taking the stairs every day. So my room is on deck eight in the front of the ship, which is nice when you're taking the stairs because you're like halfway up, halfway down. But because I'm in the front of the ship, I have to walk toward the aft quite a bit. So tonight I chose to come to the buffet deck, deck 14, and walk from the front to the back because look at the view, y'all. I don't know if I've ever shown you these Celebrity Edge class ships at night, but they are stunning. So we're gonna look. This is Solarium here, and we're gonna walk. Here's the main resort's pool deck. And they light this up every night, a different color. And it is beautiful. Let me walk this way. Look at that. Even the water is shimmering with the lights. There are lights everywhere out here. It's so colorful, it's so stunning and attractive. The Celebrity X is all lit up up there. And I never come out here, even in the daytime. I'm just not a pool deck guy. And then of course, on all these Edge Class ships, they have these, well, not hands, but they have some sort of art. And here on the Apex, it's the heart hands. And then right off the pull deck 
is actually the buffet or the Ocean View Cafe as it's called here. Another cool thing uh, when you walk into Ocean View Cafe, they do have a huge hand washing station right here on the left when you first enter. So um, that's nice. You can I always wash my hands here even if I just left my room. Uh, but a very nice, clean, welcoming place to wash your hands as soon as you walk in Ocean View Cafe. So I'll show you a little bit of what they have on the buffet. This is the desserts. A lot of stuff to choose from. Bread pudding, more bread pudding. It's very quiet in here. Of course, it's elegant night, so a lot of folks just dine in the dining room. But uh, not a lot of folks dining in the buffet tonight. They have a salad station here. That's probably what I'll be getting. All right, so here's a selection. I made myself a salad. A lot of options. Uh, so there's some ham, mushrooms, onions, peppers. Uh, put some Italian dressing on there. And then this is some pan-seared tilapia they had with some tomato sauce on it. So got a couple pieces of that. So yeah, that's dinner tonight. After I picked out earlier at Le Grand Bistro, it's very quiet in here. And also the cool thing about the buffet is that they do have uh, servers that will come by and, you know, get you a drink. So they'll come by in a minute and see what I want to drink. I want to head down to see the Tree of Life show that they're doing tonight. And then I'm going to call it a night for me. It's going to go to bed because it is uh, 9 o'clock now. The show starts at 9.30. I have an excursion in the morning. I have to meet at at 7 15 7 15 that's an early start so uh, i need to get in bed soon and get some sleep tomorrow we're going to be in olympia greece the home of the olympic games apparently so uh yeah day three zach take it away good morning you might have saw in my embarkation day vlog i was having problems with my infinite veranda and they said they fixed it and it was working but this morning see i'm clicking the button this shouldn't go up this shade barely wants to move and it actually already had it up once it wouldn't go all the way up so i think there's something wrong with the motor in it oh i'm gonna have to ask them to come again today and look at it they reset the breaker in the room the other day though and that was the fix but now you see i'm having to click the button it goes up maybe three or four inches and then stops again so good morning on day three of our cruise here on celebrity apex uh, did not sleep very well last night. I went to bed shortly after midnight and had a hard time going to sleep. Woke up thinking it was almost time to for my alarm to go off and it was only 3 o'clock, 3.30. And that's all the sleep I got all night. It is currently 6 a.m. Uh, finally got up and I'm getting dressed, getting ready for the day. Uh, it's still actually dark outside, let's see. Uh, and as I just mentioned, my window infinite veranda situation is messed up. That's as far as that will open. So I got to get them to come look at that today. Hopefully while I'm on my excursion, my excursion is starting at 7.15. I have to meet for that. So I'm going to run up to the buffet and get some breakfast because not only did I not sleep, but I'm also starving because my body is still, uh, you know, on East Coast time in America. Uh, so when it's, you know, three or four in the morning here, it thinks I should be eating dinner. And then clearly I haven't completely adjusted yet to the time. So Again, I'll hit this again, reiterate this. Uh, you're probably going to have a couple of days, a few days in your trip when you're flying east and across this many time zones, seven time zones. Uh, it's going to take some adjustment time. So uh, maybe just bring sleeping medication if you need it. Uh, just take care of yourself. Do what you can. I feel fine right now, but I know it's going to catch up to me in a couple of hours. I'm going to be dead during my excursion day. I'm not looking forward to that, but I am looking forward to showing you Olympia. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna head up and get breakfast and then I'll get off the ship. Speaking of behind the scenes, I was talking about this bag yesterday and I thought maybe I would show you a little bit of what I put in it each day um, to take on shore uh, or, you know, in the ports or whatever. So this is my passport book and I'm taking this to all the ports. It's got my passport, it's got my COVID vaccine card, it's got uh, health insurance cards, other important information that I need uh, for my identity and just for my well-being and safety when I'm ashore. So just in case I need any of these documents, they're all here together. Um, also in this bag, I have my sunglasses. Always need those. What else do we have in here? Oh, this is just for my microphone that I use on my camera. Let's 
so always some camera goodies in here. Have some hand sanitizer, celebrity branded. I will note they are not giving this out anymore. They used to give this out uh, on the cruises, but they don't actually distribute this anymore. This is from another cruise uh, that I took with celebrity. And then also down in here, I can't get that unzipped with one hand, but I have a mask because a lot of times on the buses and stuff, they will ask that you wear a mask. So even though it's not required on board, it's a good idea to maybe take one off with you. Um, what do we have in this pouch? I packed this last night, so it's kind of a surprise for me because I forgot. Oh, this is a battery charger for my phone. It's a MagSafe. Let's see there. Uh, so I can plug this up or just actually attach it to the back of my phone and still use my phone. Uh, and this is good because I do a lot of my vlogging. I'm actually talking to you now from my iPhone 14. So uh, uh, it takes a lot of battery, a lot of energy to do the vlogging. So uh, I use a little external battery sometimes to give me a boost during the day. What else? Oh yeah, I've got like uh, Tylenol for like headaches and things. I've got other medicines in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, and money. Let's see what I have here. Yeah, I have some money. There, there's like some loose change in there. There's some a few euro in there, I think. So yeah, that's my bag. Uh, before I leave the ship, I will get some bottles of water that they provide. Um, sometimes at the excursion meetup area, they'll provide water, and I'll put a bottle or two of water to make sure I stay hydrated throughout the day and don't have to depend on finding it anywhere else. I know I always have it with me. So yeah, that's my day bag uh, for here. Uh, typically in the Caribbean, it's a little bit different because you're going to beaches and stuff. But when I'm over here in Europe, I want to make sure I'm well supplied. I have everything I might need for any situation that might arise while I'm on shore. So maybe this will be a help to you, let me know. Oh, and I also have this. This uh, actually is a little wallet that Celebrity gave me several cruises ago. I think I have a few of them. I think it's from either Aqua or Concierge class. But, uh, so I have this, I keep my, you can see my sea pass is there. And then on the other side, there's room for more cards or whatever. This is actually my Zach the Travelman little business card that I have that shows on my social. So if you ever see me in person, say hello. I usually give these out to folks just, you know, so they have my information. So say hi to me in person and I'll give you one of those. And then this here, I usually put money or something down in there, but I'm broke. So yeah, this will go in there too. Uh, the last thing to go in the bag actually. Oh, and AirPods, last thing. Uh, I like to have my AirPods with me. This is a little neat case that I have, uh, but I like to take my AirPods with me. You know, you never know when you might want to bust out some jams. It's some, um, you know, ancient historical site. Maybe watch some TikToks while you're at the Parthenon, whatever, you know, for any mood, AirPods. Okay, one more pro tip this morning. Um, hope you're taking notes. Uh, so this is the mini fridge in the room. Anything in here, back here, um, this is all additional charge. So even if you have the premium beverage package or whatever, you still have to pay for this. Even the sodas, even the, there's no water in here. Sometimes there's water. Oh, the water's up here. Even the water and the snacks over there, None of that's included in any of the beverage packages. So if you take one of those out, you're going to get charged. There is a sheet up there telling you how much they are. So my pro tip is go to, um, you know, like Cafe Bacho or any of the bars or whatever. If you like soda, if you have a premium package or classic package or whatever, get a soda. Just get a canned soda, bring it and put it in your room. This is my freebie door here. I also always bring back a couple waters to the room and I chill those here. You never know when you might want water. Then you don't have to mess with all that. You don't have to pay for any of that when you have your freebie door here. I'm pulling into the Corte Catacolon and they have the stern thrusters on and it is shaking so much back here. Very bumpy.